Welcome back to week 6 of 52 frames. The challenge for this week is to shoot from above. And this week I'll try to take a drone-like photo without using a drone. So one of the steps I take during each week's planning process is to go through my Lightroom catalogue to see what photos I've taken in the past that would fit into the theme. I don't like to replicate photos besides the fact that it's boring, but I do try to improve on them a lot of time or just find inspiration out of them. What I've noticed is that I don't shoot from above quite a lot. The most common photos I've taken from above is of flowers. And that's not really a unique perspective for the everyday person since we look down on flowers most of the time. I've just started with a book, Steal Like an Artist. And the reason for me mentioning this is that I think that's what I did. Although I hope that's what I did. Since the idea and the concept isn't really original or mine at all, and I can't really take credit for it. The inspiration came from a, the late afternoon sun shining into my living room onto an ornament casting a shadow. But that triggered a memory of a photo I saw a while ago where the guy went into the desert, placed a few camels on the sand and took a photo with his camera. The shadows cast by the sun in the desert made it look like a drone shot. Since the toys were small and the perspective gave the idea that it was a drone shot. I did go back and try to find the photo and I would like to credit the guy, although according to the book I've just started reading, no idea is an original idea. So maybe it wasn't even his idea in the first place and he stole it like an artist as well. But nevertheless, that's what I wanted to try this week. I wanted to take a photo that looks like it was taken by a drone, but without using a drone altogether. You know when you see something and you say, well, how hard can that be? Well, that's usually the tricky photos to take. And this week's photo was nothing different. The concept is quite clear. You put down a toy or an ornament on the ground, wait for the sun to cast a shadow and take the photo. Right? Well, not really. Since I wanted to use the beach, that was one of the challenges. I needed to place the ornament down where there weren't any human footprints at all. And then when I went back into post-production and looked at my photos, I realized, well, there weren't any elephant footprints. Prints, but back to that in a while. I wanted to use my wide angle lens to get a wider perspective of the landscape. But this prompted the problem that my feet would be in the photo most of the time. So I opted to use my monopod to extend the camera a bit and gain that little bit of extra distance. Then the problem was I couldn't press the shutter button. So what I did then was I used the interval timer. I said to take about 10, 20 photos, press the button and hold it over. That got into the next problem. I couldn't really see the composition. Although I could turn the camera screen so that I can look at it, it was just too bright and I couldn't see the composition. So it was trial and error for quite a bit to get that shot. I bumped my ISO a little bit so that the shutter speed could be fast because the holding the monopod wasn't really stable and I had to compensate for the shake that would be in that scene.
each edit, I wanted to focus on three elements. The first one was to make it black and white, to remove the telling color of the shallow waters. The second one was to tighten the crop quite a bit because I realized that there were no footprints where the elephant was supposed to walk. And lastly, I wanted to make the elephant look as realistic as possible. All of these were to enhance the effect that it was taken by a drone, although only a little wooden elephant on the beach. Friends is about being consistent. Not every week is going to be a perfect photo. I try to be perfect every week, but it just doesn't always happen. Either the idea, the technique, or the execution just falls flat on its face. And that was this week for me. Somehow, it just didn't feel like a wow photo. Last week's photo ended up being one of my favorites, actually, and I was on such a high. And maybe that is also a reason. I really don't feel this week's photo. Although this week's photo isn't really photo of the week for me, I did learn something new. The monopod trick I will certainly keep in the back of my mind and might use that again one day, just to get that little bit of extra space below you. The other thing is I will keep an eye out for shoot from above perspectives and try to add that more into my portfolio. I would just like to give a quick shout out to Tarsus, my husband, who shot the behind the scenes footage for me. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Join me again next week for the theme Unexplored, where I have the perfect excuse to go and explore something or somewhere new. See you again and thank you for watching. Bye bye.